Good night, good night. Have a one done tonight. God is good and God is good all the time. Excuse me. Um, I need to give you a word on tonight. And the uh, topic going to be on um, Lydia uh, converted. You know, so um, Lydia is a woman to who, regardless as of, she was the first document to be converted to a Christianity, you know, uh, from God. You know, several Christians have designed her a saint. You know, so literally live, and she worked in Philly, and she also deal with purple clothes. Now she, uh, she was rich. She allowed her to live, in independently in a spacious house. Now she was also a religious um, seeker, you know, and she was a Gentile by birth, you know, but she worshipped the God of the Jews, you know. So literally, um, worship of God. She shown hospitality by opening her house to Paul and his co-workers in the new Christian congregation. Now she loved to um uh, she loved to invite people to her home and and you know and study their word and everything, you know. So she she loved um having people over to her house and have Bible study. You know, so Acts 16 and 14, one of these to listening um was a woman from the city, you know, named Lydia, a dealer in purple clothes. Now she was a worshiper of God and the Lord opened her heart, you know, to respond uh, to Paul message. You know, so Paul came in town. She was living in Fibula and Paul came in town and he was preaching that word. You know, so God know that she was she had potential. You know, she God knows she was following um the Israelite, you know, that's why when Paul was preaching it was familiar to her because she she pretty much know the story of the Israelite, you, you know. So God converted her heart, you know, opened her heart up to receive Paul's message, you know, so she can uh, understand it, you know, to spread that seed, you know. So he, Lord, God opened her heart to respond to Paul's message, you know. Um, he wanted her to understand what Paul was preaching, you know, because see, back in the Old Testament, didn't have nobody preaching that word, you know, but they had um Moses was writing uh, the commandments and stuff like that, you know. You really didn't have nobody preaching until Jesus came along. Now you know John the Baptist, he was preaching a coming of Jesus, but Jesus was the one who came along and was preaching that word. You know, preaching that word because he got all the notes that that, were, that happened in the old testament, you know, and translated to the message that God wants to reach out to everyone across the nation, you know. So um, Lydia is a very important person to the church, you know, as a newcomer. She's a newcomer to that church, you know. You know, Paul was preaching, and they noticed that she was sitting out in the audience, you know, and uh, she was listening, you know, to God's word. And God had converted her heart to be open to Paul's message, you know, because God really wanted her to listen, wanted her to get it, you know, because sometimes people can be sitting there in church, you know, and, and the, the preacher can be preaching, but sometimes they don't receive it in their heart to really get it, you know, so God really wanted her to get it, so he converted her heart, you know, to be open to, to, to receive that word from Paul, what Paul was preaching, you know, so literally she realized that God had converted her uh, to Paul's message, you know, so she stated that she was just following God's guidance, you know, when she accepted Paul's message by faith. Now, she, she received God's message by faith because God had this on work into her heart, you, you know, so she received it, you know, she received what God, what Paul was preaching, you know. So Lydia said something she could not explain had happened, you know, so she knows something had happened. You know, but she could not explain it. You know, so when she heard Paul's word, you know, all she knew is that she was changed, you know, and she wanted to help others to make the same discovery. You know, all she knew why in them, you know, why Paul was preaching. See, God could do some work in you in a moment, you know. So while Paul was preaching, you know, in that moment, you know, God had converted her heart. You know, she received that word. And after she received that word, she recognized that something had changed. 
something had changed in her heart. You know, so she she wanted to help other people to discover what she couldn't even explain what happened. All she knows she was changed, you know, and uh, all she knows that she wanted to start helping other people to discover what she discovered. You, you know, she she sucked that word in. You know, God see God can do some work in you in a minute. You know, God can do anything happen quickly. You know, but suddenly, right before your eyes, things can happen so fast. You know, so we see that God had converted converted her heart, you know, to be open to the message that Paul was preaching. You know, so while she was listening, she know that something had happened. You know, she can't explain it, but she knows something happened. You know, but she know she had been changed. She knows she had been changed. You know, she got some people can go to church for years. You know, if, if you don't have the, your heart is open up to, to hear and receive that word, you cannot get it. Now, she been with the Israelites for a while, traveling with them. You know, she born as a Gentile, you know, but everybody thought she was a Jewish because she always was hanging around the Israelites. You know, so she, you will think she'll know full uh, everything about her. You know, she said she was familiar with what Paul was preaching because she was with them. She pretty much knows some of the stories that the Israelites had experienced. You, you know, but for you, that's just like me putting my package together. I can read it twice. If I don't understand, I got to do, do some background check. You know, I got to do background check because I want to understand what I'm putting out in case y'all come back and ask me questions. So you got to fully know that word. You know, when you're preaching that word, you got to know that word. Whatever you don't know, you got to keep on reading. You got to keep on reading or you do research. You know, so God really wanted her to get that word that Paul was preaching. So he had to convert her heart. And she got that word in. And all she know, something happened. Something happened. She felt like she was changed. You know, she is something that she can't even explain at the moment. I mean, God did some work in her in that moment. You know, and, to, and when Paul finished on um, preaching, all she knows, she just wanted to help somebody else. You know, so after she had felt the change, you know, she wanted to help others pass it on. You know, so they can be connected to God too. And see what God God wants you to do. He wants you to get that word. He wants you to pass that seed. It's a seed that you pass on. And, that, and, and then when that person get it, that person pass it on to somebody else. That's why his son Jesus died. Jesus had multiple purposes. His son Jesus died here as a seed. You know, to preach that word. So, so many people can be connected to God. God don't want, God is not disconnected with one person, two persons. God wants everybody to be connected with him. You know? And that's why he will want you to, he wants you to get that, get that word in, you know, study that Bible, you know, like me, when I'm putting my stuff together and, and I'm reading, if I don't understand, if I don't get, I'm going to keep on reading it. And if I read it two or three times, still don't get, I'm, if, if it seems like it's something I really want to put out, I'm going to do research on it, you know, because you have to understand what you read, you know, so she was a woman. A woman raw that had opportunity to sit at the feet of a highly trained and renewed teacher like Paul. You know, so it was it, it was amazing to sit next um to um to Paul. You know, she called him a highly trained, you know. So her for her to be in that moment and listen to Paul preach and then Paul come and, 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 and introduce himself to her and then she invite Paul to her house, it was amazing to her. You know, so Lydia is a newcomer in Paul Church, you know, and she spoke her testimony and another newcomer remote, you know, as she heard more of Lydia's story, you know. So she let them know, you know, because they asked her about, well, how somebody a Gentile, you know, and living in Philly, you know, because uh, she under the Israelite, you know, so... Uh, one of them had spoken and said um, was a Gentile by, she was a Gentile by birth, you know, but worship the God of the Jews, you know, because she was under them. That's why they thought she was a Jew, but she had to let them know, no, I, I born as a Gentile, 
you know. So she continued as she shared her testimony with her cats. Remember, she invited them to her house. After Paul had finished preaching, she she invited Paul and all Paul um, co-workers and everybody that were with Paul, she invited them all to her house. You know, so this when Paul finished preaching and she invited everyone to her house. That's why she said her guests. You know, so Lydia already found her way to God of Israel. You know, um, which is why some element of Paul's message was already familiar to her. You know, she had been converted. So when her guests could even ask it out loud, before they could ask her anything else out loud, you know, she knew, you know, what they was, what, what they was thinking, you know, because God converted her. So I guess she had become to be spiritual. You know, because she said they were asking a question, but when they got to the third person to ask her question before they even get it out their mouth, she already knew what they were thinking about. You, you know, she already knew what they were thinking about. You know, so it was familiar to her. You know, she followed them as Jews and she knows the story of the Israelites. You know, so another guest asked her, oh, uh, ask her question now, how did a gentile end up in philly you know so they were asked her how she ended up there you know, you know so she um she responded it wasn't even enough resident jews to form a respectable synagogue um there that she said it, it was hard to say it was hard to say but it was out of a normal and she liked it in that way you know she because you know you know uh the israelite was around them you know, at at time when God had to constantly keep putting them in track, you know, you know, they were messed up a lot of times. So she said everything was out in normal, out of normal, you know, and she liked it that way. You know, they had good days, bad days, they did wrong, did good. You know, she liked the stuff like that that was unbalanced. You, you know, uh so she loved to turn many people, you know, since she got converted, you know, she loved to turn people over to God. You know, be connected to God, be connected to that word. You know, it was a good feeling that she had got changed, you know. So um um so she couldn't explain her us on position of worshiping, but not everyone had to share her enthusiasm. So you know, so sometimes, you know, when you, you um uh, you got so much excitement to tell someone. Everybody's not going to be excited for her. Jesus. Her, most of her friends were asking her these questions, and they didn't seem highly, you know, happy about her new her new life, her her new mind, her new change. You, you know, she 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 had putting all her energy into God and doing what is what she seems right. You remember, she's a new member in Power Church. You know, so she got a role in the church. You know, turning people over to um to god you, you know and changing um people life you know just like her life had got changed you know so she had reached just the zero of uh zine of her profession in closing industry now she loved deal deal with purple clubs you know because when she was there they said she had on um, purple you know so uh she enjoyed a position of influence among her peers and in the city so why not dream big about the future of the church you know you know and see that's how i do i dream big you know and when things it seem unbalanced and you frustrated i always think about my future you know and, and when you think about your future dream big you know because you know god always did big you know remember he has i preach on that he had Solomon to build that temple the temple so big and beautiful See, God got good taste, and he liked to go big. You know, he get uh, the Israelites, you know, not a their part, part of a, a land. It was a whole nation of a land he gave the Israelites with milk and honey. You know, so he going to, God go all out his way, you know. So he don't want you to think less. He wants you to dream big. You know, don't never think you can never get it. You know, keep on dreaming. Keep on visualizing and watch how God can make things happen. You know, so why he cannot dream big about the future of the church? You know, so see, she a new member in the church. So she coming up with ideas already, you know, and which is good. You know, she have a role in church that she helping um, a lot of people that come close to God. She just spreading that seeds, 
you know, and that's why God converted her heart, you know, and she's doing just what God had wanted her to do. So what we learned from a little, uh, her challenges, uh, us to reflect on our role of being prepared for the moment. And sometimes you cannot even get prepared for the moment. She wasn't prepared for the moment. All she knew that something happened. And, and and she was changed. And there was something happened that she can't even explain it. You know, seeking something bigger, you know, than ourself. You know, being willing to invite others to experience what we had experienced. You know, so when you when you get that good news, you know, always always share it with others. And that's what she did. She got changed in a moment, you know, and she she realized she was changed. She knew something happened, but she couldn't explain it, you, you know. So that was good news to her, you know. So she didn't have no problem to want to help someone and, and, and spread that good news to someone else, you know. So she was a worshiper of God. She was a worshiper of, of God, you know. So we see at the moment, while Paul was preaching, God converted her heart to respond to Paul's message, you know. And God can do that. God could do things in a moment, and suddenly, you know, quickly. You, you know, why she's sitting up there listening to Paul? God hadn't converted her heart. You know, all she know, you know, she changed. She feel like something different. You know, she feel like something that she can't even explain. You know, but in her heart, she knew she had to help other people. You know, she knew she had to help other people. You know, and she, that's why when Paul finished preaching, she invited Paul and everybody to her house. You know, they were her guests, you know, and that's when they start asking her questions and stuff. Why is she here in Philly if she's a Gentile, you know? So, uh, now we all know, we all know that Paul is one of Jesus' disciples, was one of Jesus' disciples. So we know being under a highly trained leader, you know, he was under Jesus, a highly trained, you know, leader, Jesus. And Paul now is a highly trained, you know. So let us say, I'm under a high, highly trained um, leader, which is Paul now. You know, see, Paul is good preacher because he was under Jesus. You know, Jesus was the, was the best um, trainer they had. You know, he he taught all the disciples. All the disciples walked their walk with Jesus. You know, so now they on their own. They're running their own ministry. You know, so now they look at Paul. You know, and look at Paul as a highly trained leader. You know, and she says it's amazing to be under Paul. It was amazing that that she said she had Paul at her house. You know, so Paul is a good preacher. You know, because he was taught under a highly trained person, which was Jesus, you know, so God wanted her to understand what Paul was preaching, you know, he also, also wanted her to spray that seed, what she did, you know, what she, what she's doing, you know, she doing just what God had wanted her to do, so God converted her heart, converted her heart to do these type of thing, and she picked up on it and did it, you know, she's know in her heart that something happened, you know, that she couldn't explain this. And Paul finished, you know, in her heart, she just wanted to help people. So, too, she was converted and she couldn't explain it, you know, what happened. But she knew she was changed. You know, she knew things were going through her mind, you know, and she was just feeling all kind of different things in the heart. You know, she knew she had been changed. You know, she couldn't explain what happened. She like, well, what happened, you know? She couldn't explain it, but then she wanted to help others to make the same discovery, you know, so she wanted to bring many people as possible to God, you know, all she knew when Paul finished, you know, all she knew in her mind that she needs to help people. She wants to help people, you know, so she also shown hospitality by opening her house to Paul and his co-workers, everybody that was with Paul, she invited them to her house. You know, she was born as a Gentile, you know, but she ended up in Philly, um, but she worshipped the God of Jews. You know, she was, she was under um, the Israelite, you know, but she was a Gentile, you know, so she was familiar with some of the stories that Paul was already saying, you know, because Jesus already knew all the stories, 
you know, Jesus already knew what went on in the Old Testament. And he was telling a lot of his disciples that, you know, so now his disciples on their own, you know, so they didn't know a whole lot of stuff from the best leader that taught them, you know. So uh, she said, why not dream big? You know, she was converted to God's word to uh, spread their seeds to others to bring them closer to God. You know, and that's what that's, that's what all this is about. This is about a mission, you know, a seed that God wants us to spread to other people. You know, that, that's why a lot of time when people are talking about different situations, you got, you got to always bring God in it, you know, because promotion, that comes from God. You know, riches, that comes from God. So anything that you got in the situation that you're going through, you know, is God. You know, it's not all a coincidence that you got a promotion. You, you know, it's come from God. God, just like God converted her heart, God touched other people's heart to give you a promotion. Touch other people's heart to um to bless you. you. You know, he 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 converted her heart to spread that seed. You know, it's a mission to spread that seed from here to there. You know, so the mission is to that's what this package is about. The mission is to spread that seed to others. You know. So God converted her heart to do these type of things, and she have been doing it. You know, so God can change you in a moment. He changed her in a moment. You, you know, you will not be able to explain it. See, when God changed you, you won't be able to explain it. All you know that you've been changed. You know, all you know in your heart, it feels like you got to be doing this. You know, but you know something happened. You know, but you can't explain it in a moment. God converted her heart, and she was able to receive the word and understand it. And see, that's another thing. When you're reading that Bible, you got to understand. You're not reading the Bible just to see how fast you can read it. You have to read it to understand what you're reading, you know? So that's what had happened to me, you know? I started fasting, you know? I found out I was chosen. I, I started getting all kind of purpose. And everything, you know, so I start fasting, you know, and two to three days of fasting, I woke up and look in the mirror, you, you know, I saw a change in my heart was a change in my mind was a change, you know, it felt a change, but it, it's like, you can't explain it, you know, all you know that things is different, you know. People come on my page, it's like, you 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 gonna change right before our eyes. I say, you know what, I change right before my own eyes, you know. Uh, so... God can do some work in you in a moment, you know, and you won't able, be able to explain it. You know, I, I was lit up, just, just glowing one morning when I woke up, you know, so things can happen that you can't explain it. But all you know, you can change before people's eyes. You can change right before your eyes. All you know is things is different, you know. So um, I realized I had changed right before my eyes, right before everyone else's eyes. You know, I couldn't explain it, you know, but I know that something was different. You know, I know something was different. You know, I'm changed to pursue my mission, but I'm not 100%. God is still doing the work in me, you know, and he's not going to stop until he's done the work in you to pursue what he wants you to do. You know, just like he did with um with Liddy, you know, he, he converted her heart. And she knew I had to Paul finish preaching. She she knew what she had to do. She had to start helping other people, you know. So be converted to God word, you know, pass to see to others. And that was just package was all about. Converted your heart to do the will of God wants you to do. You know. So uh, God had been working in God had been working in me and he still is working in me. You know, I know I done changed a whole lot how I used to think, how I used to do things. You, you know, I know what it takes. You know, everything had to change in a moment. And that's how God do. God can work the work in you just in a moment. In a moment, she will listen to um, Paul preaching. And he changed her. He changed her in that moment, you know. And, and she realized what she had to do when Paul finished. You know, so this practice is about your heart being converted, you know, to spread the seed.
you know, spread that seed to others, you know, and when they get it, they spread that seed to someone else, you, you know, and God want many people as possible, you know, reading and studying his word, you know, so that's why he sent Jesus out here, you know, we ain't know nothing about the Bible, we ain't know nothing about the command, we ain't know about none of that, you know, and so Jesus came along, you know, and so now we have to do the same thing Jesus did, you know, Get that word in, study that word, and pass that seed on to someone else. When someone comes to you about a situation or problem, every just your Bible is a guideline. You know, every situation, every problem that, that go on, it's a story that's in the Bible that we can translate to our life. You know, and so um your heart can be converted to do the will of God. You know, so that's all the word I have for you on today. Um y'all have a blessed night and I see y'all on the next video.